Hi people, my name's Jack. Welcome to um, bringing Digni Workout to your home. Today we're going to be doing a little 15 minute Matrix Meta style workout. We're going to be doing 40 seconds on, 20 seconds to recover. Four exercises. We've got uh, three rounds to get through. First round's going to be a little bit stripped back. You can use it as your warm up round if you've not done body weight exercises and stuff like that before. And then we can progress things a little bit more for rounds two and three. Alright, perfect. So find yourself a little bit of space at home. We're just going to start to loosen up a little bit. So just start to roll those arms forward. Nice and easy. Take a few steps from side to side. I know a few of us have been sitting on the sofa for the last few days. Me included. When you're ready, then just start to roll your arms back. Nice big move, please. Perfect. Good job, guys. And across your chest. Nice and wide. That's it, guys. Good job. Alright, we're going to just take it to a couple of reverse lunges, reaching up overhead. That's it, just to start to warm those muscles up, get those hip flexors open, move like the lower back, start to warm up. That's it, guys, perfect. Alright, so like I said, we're going to be doing 40 seconds on, 20 seconds to recover, four exercises, then we'll have a 45 second um, recovery before we go into rounds two and three. So first exercise is going to be two squats and two reverse lunges into forward lunges. So we squat all the way down, one, two, we step back into that reverse lunge and we step forward. Watch it, my towel and my water bottle throw it from the side. Two squats, we step back and we step forward. Nice and easy, remember the first round is the warm up round. All right, cool, so we're going to start in three, two, one, let's go. So two body weight squats, get nice and low, squeeze those glutes at the top, and we step back into that lunge, and forward. We go again, two squats, this time switch legs, step back, and step forward. Good job guys. So from the side, we want to make sure our hips are coming down nice and low, in line with our knees, if not further, and then we step back, and forward into that lunge. Good job guys, keep going. So keep switching legs after your two squats. Give me a couple more, we've got five, four, three, two, one. Perfect guys, well done. All right, so take a 20 second recovery. Next exercise, we're just going to walk ourselves out into a high plank, shoulders over your hands, walk ourselves back up, and eight high knees on the spot. Start to get that heart rate up. So find yourself a little bit of space, we're going three, two, one, let's go. So walk out, walk back, eight high knees. And again, walk out, walk back up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So make sure that we're really driving those knees up, using our arms, keeping our core nice and tight. Try not to lose count of how many you've done. That's it guys, nice and quick. Good job guys, you've got 10 seconds left. And you get two more in. Drive those knees up. Last one, three, two, one, time. Perfect. Good job guys, all right, two more things to go. So, we've got 15 seconds before we go again. We're gonna come into kick throughs. So, I want you to get comfortable with this position. Shoulders over your hands, knees underneath your hips. We just pick our knees up off the ground, we kick through, sit our bum down on the floor. All right, straight in, 40 seconds. So take your time with it, reset into that beast position each time. Good job, guys. So you can keep your bum off the floor if you want, but this is the first round. We're still warming up. So if you want to sit those hips down each time, sit them down. Good job. Nearly there, you've got 10 seconds to go. Make sure we're resetting into that beast position each time. In three, two, one. Woo, well done guys. All right, final exercise. We're going to be split over 20 seconds. So we're going to do mountain climbers and groiners. So first 20 seconds, mountain climbers. Make sure that core is engaged. Drive those knees up towards your chest. After 20 seconds, we're going to go into groins. 
Let's go straight in. First 20 seconds, bouncy climbers. Nice and quick now. That's it, drive those knees up. Try and keep that core engaged, keep your bum down. You've got seven seconds left, and then we're going to come into groiners, stepping one foot forward at a time. In three, two, one. Let's go, groiners now. So we want to focus on getting that foot up nice and high, next to your hand, heel down on the floor, drive our hips into it. That's it, let's take a time with this one. We've got five, three, two, and one. Woo, good job. Perfect, round one, done. Grab yourself some water, I'm already sweating. I haven't done any exercise, take to the gym. Closed, went for a run, it nearly killed me. So I know how you're feeling. We're all in this together, guys. How about your run, Jack? Uh, to the shop and back. <laughs> <laughs> to get a toilet roll? No, I don't. <laughs> and then we come for that to the park. <sighs> Alright, so we've got just over 10 seconds before we come back in. So round two will make it a little bit more challenging. So we're going to take, go back into those two squats. We're going to step back. And then we're going to drive our knee up and pause at the top. So let's go straight in. Two squats. Step back. And then drive that knee up. Step back. Drive it up. Perfect. We go again. Remember two squats, then we switch legs. Come back. Drive up. Come back. Drive up. That's it. Easy. 20 seconds to go. If you find this more challenging, you can stick with what you did in the first round. We want to push ourselves for eight seconds on the clock. That is it. Five, four, three, two, come on, one more, one. Awesome. All right, we're going back into those walkouts. So, as promised, make it a little bit harder. Just going to add one press up at the bottom before you walk yourself back up and give me those eight high knees. So remember, walkouts begin. Three. Two, one, walk it out. Give me that one press up here. Walk yourself back up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I want you to try and really give all the energy into the eight high knees. Just focus on that form and technique with your press up. If you find the press up difficult, you've got the option to come to your knees. You want to try and get that chest nice and close to the ground. Keep those elbows in at the side. Walk yourself back up. And give me all of that energy and those things I need to drive them up. That's it, guys. One. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Three, two, one. Good job, guys. All right. We're going back into those kick sits. So remember the position we start in. We're here. We've got our knees just off the ground. We kick through. This time, I want you to reach and touch that toe. Reset, go the other way. All right, straight in, three, two, one, let's go. So we're here, we reach, keep that core nice and tight. Fully extend your leg and get to that toe. Every time we reset into this position, those knees should be just off the ground, keeping that core engaged the whole time. You're over halfway, stick with it guys. Nice and controlled. You've got 10 seconds to go. Reach those toes every time you commit to it. In three, two, one. Good job. All right. Back into this 20 second mountain climbers. This time we're going to do 20 seconds and down up plank. So we start with the mountain climbers. Exactly the same as the first round. After 20 seconds, we're going to come into down up planks. We're alternating which arm we go down on. We start with mountain climbers. Three, two, one, let's go. Again, commit to this guys, 20 seconds here. Driving those knees, moving those feet nice and quick. Core engaged, arm down. We've got eight seconds before we go into those down up planks. In three, two, one. So we're here. So we want to try and keep that core tight. We don't want our hips be rolling around too much here. Want everything nice and engaged. Keep those hips parallel to the floor. Keep switching up which arm you go down on. 
Nearly there, guys. So three, two, one. Woo! Time. All right. Round two done. One more to go. Nearly there. All right. So when we go back into the squats, just to make it a little bit more challenging, we've got the option of making a plyometric and going into squat jumps. If you live in flats, you've got legs below, you might want to stick with your regular squats. But if they come knocking on the door, send them the link to this video. Tell them to get on with it. So we start with the squat jumps exactly the same. Two squat jumps. We reverse one the back and we drive that knee up. Again, another option if you want to make it a little bit more tricky. Two squat jumps, two lunge jumps. Three, two, one, let's go. Two, one, two. Let's see it goes. So try and keep that tempo all the way through. I say that. I'm not even sure if I'm going to be able to. We're halfway. We've got 20 seconds. Guys laughing at me. I'm committed to this. I hope you have too. We've got 10 seconds to go. Stick with it. That's it. Nearly there. Nearly there. Last five. Four. Three. Go on. Let's have one more. One. Time. Woo. All right, guys. Well done. Three more exercises to go. We're right there. So we're going back into that walkout. I'm going to give me that press up. Walk back up. Eight high knees. Your option is to add one rep each time to the press ups. We go in three, two, one. Walk it out. One press up. Walk back up. One, two, three, four, five, seven, eight. Next time, two press ups. One, two, one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. Let's go. Keep adding that one rep to the press ups, guys. How many can you get up to? You've got just over 10 seconds to go. Can you get one more done? Three, four, two, three, three, two, one. Time. All right, guys. Back into the kick sits. So, we're back here again. We're kicking through. This time, you're going to give me two kick sits. And then two frog squats. Feet come forward, chest comes up, arm goes down at the same time. All right, guys, in three, two, one. Let's go. Kick through. Kick through. Here, we jump both feet forward, chest up, back, and again. There you go. Reset. Go again. Really engage that core on those kick throughs. Really focus. Get that chest up. Bump down at the same time. Last 15 seconds. Woo! Easy work. Let's go. Nearly there. One more after this. In five. In four. Three. Two. I'm going to finish. One. Woo! Good job, guys. Well done. All right, last one. 20 second mountain climbers. And 20 second cross body mountain climbers. So first three seconds regular, after that we drive our knees across our bodies, opposite knee to opposite elbow. Let's go, first 20 seconds, regular mountain climbers, keep that core engaged, bum down. That's it guys, commit to it, you've got eight seconds, then we're going to move into those cross body, the knees come across, in three, in two, in one, let's go, last. 20 seconds here, guys. Big push to the end now. 10 seconds on the clock. That is it. You've been absolutely brilliant. Finish strong. All the way. In four. In three. Two. One. Oh, my God. Woo. Yes, yeah. That is it, guys. Well done, well done, well done. Awesome work. It's been an absolute pleasure. Remember, Look after each other, try and stay positive. And we're super excited to get back into the studio with you as soon as possible.